Welcome MHS sports fans to Beloit, Kansas to Trojan Field. It's October 21st, 2005. We're here for the next to the last league game and the next to the last district game in this season versus the Beloit Panthers. The Tro excuse me, the Trojans. <laughs> we are 6-1 uh, and one on the season facing the 1-6 and six Minneapolis Lions. Uh, should be an interesting game tonight. See if the Lions, they, we know they've been maturing over the season. It's been a rough and rocky one, but we know they've been maturing and see how they can uh, play tonight against the Trojans, who should be riding high off their big victories they've been having. We'll be back after the National Anthem. We're back as the teams get ready to take the field here. Uh, the Lions will be without Trevor Atkins for the last two games of the season, who uh, suffered a, his first concussion of this season last Friday against uh, Riley County, but it was severe enough that uh, stacked on top of the four or five concussions he had as a sophomore, they've called it quits for Trevor for the rest of the football season to, for his own good. This is the 85th game in the series between these two schools dating back to 1900. The Trojans lead at 62 to 18 to four ties. But Minneapolis has won three of the last four games, which really is their most successful run against the Bullet Trojans, outscoring them 130 to 50. So I imagine the Trojans will be out tonight uh, looking for some revenge on top of trying to finish off a successful season. Trojans last week went to Belleville and won 55 to zero. And of course the Lions lost at Riley County in a game that surprised a lot of people I think by a score of 21 to 14. So Beloit is 1-0 in the district and the Lions are 0-1. I don't believe they've had the coin toss yet. Let's see who will be kicking and receiving. Tonight will be a night that we're going to have to defend against the pass quite heavily. Um, Simmons, Tyler Simmons, their quarterback, has uh, 12 touchdown passes on the year. He's 44 of. 80 some for 995 yards in passing. They've got speed, they can run. They're a pretty well balanced team. Besides having some brawn in the line. So it'll be a stiff challenge for the Lions tonight. One we hope they can measure up to, make a very competitive game, if not win. Minneapolis won or, and will receive. Won the toss and will receive. They'll defend the east goal, which is on the right of your screen. Beloit will defend the west goal, which is on the left of your screen. This will be the second field we played on this year that runs east and west, Hoisington being the other. Last year we had an exciting game against the Trojans. They came in a very much a passing team, but it was a very, very windy night. And uh, when we had, uh, we allowed them to get the ball and we took the wind in the first quarter and we pretty much let the wind and our defense shut them down in the first quarter and then our running shut them down in the quarter that they had the wind. So they didn't get much offense generated. But we'll have no wind tonight. No rain either. It's a beautiful night for football. Kenton Lonberger 
Jared Schmidt and Nick Brown back deep to receive from the Lions. And here we go. It's going deep to the right side. Nick Brown takes it at the 19 and gets five yards. Lost his footing. First down and from the 23 yard line actually. That's where they mark it. And off to Knox, Nuz Moody up the center. He gets four yards. To the 27 yard line. Second and seven coming up. We're along six. And off to Moody. No, it's an option left. Brown cuts up. He's got the first down and beyond. Up to the 37 yard line. 36 yard line. So two plays and we get a first down on the evening. And off to Moody, gets a yard possibly. A little bit different offensive set that we've seen the Lions run this year, I think. One slot. A yard gain up to the 37. One tight end. Knox is lining up a tight end. Have a double tight end set. Ken Lomberg is at the tight end right now. Moody, the carrier again. He gets six or seven yards up to the 43. We're running well. Make it the 42 yard line. Where they mark it. Now we're back to our familiar double slot set. Brown's back to pass. Flare out to Kyle Lomberger, a little bit in front of him. That's going to bring a fourth and four. Crawford will punt. Blocked by 61 of the Trojans. They're going to get great field position at the Lion 26 yard line. A little slow developing, or as they got through the line early, one or the other. Nice clean block. Simmons steps up behind the center. Back to pass, under rush, and he's down. Give that to uh, Contreras. He just slipped, basically. Yeah. 
Simmons under the court, the center again. Pitch to Fulhay. He cuts back, taken down by Contreras and Brown. He gets bound back past the original line of scrimmage to the 24-yard line. Third and eight. for the Trojans, deep in Lion territory. Number 30, big hit by Kaiser. Drops him for a loss. Corey Kaiser off the big hit off the defensive line there. It's fourth and seven from the 22. And they're gonna go for it. Rolling right on the option. He's got the first down and more. He's gonna score. Broke one tackle and dodged a couple more and off he goes for the TD. With 7.50 to go in the contest, in the first quarter, excuse me. Full A to kick for the Trojans, slow snap. That's through and good. Seven fifty to go. It's Beloit seven. Minneapolis zero. Back with Beloit kickoff in a minute. All right, we're back for the kickoff here. Full heavy kickoff for the Trojans. Kenton Lawnbergers, Jared Schmidt, and Townsend back deep for the Lions. Kicks deep down the center. Schmidt takes it at the 10 and stumbles on the grass, slips, whatever. The Lions have stumbled twice on the kickoff returns here. This time we're buried deep on our 13-yard line. Make it the 12. Officials call timeout or penalty. I don't know what that was about. Here we go. Brown under the center. And off to Moody. Nice gain for Co Cody. Up to the 17 yard line. Five yard gain. Oh, they got it on the 16. Just over the 16. Second and six coming. One slot, one set back. Moody again, the carrier. He's fighting, and he's close to the first down. First down for the Lions. First on the 23 yard line. First and 10. And off Moody again, he's met immediately, gets away, breaks left, and gets five yards. 
A lineman had him and he broke the tackle. He gets to the 27 yard, 28 yard line, five yards. Second and a long five coming for the Lions from their 28. Brown option to Kyle Lomberger. He gets to the 30. Between the 30 and the 31. Two yards. It's on the 31. Third down and three. Option right, Brown, he's got the first down and beyond. He's up over the 35 through the 36 yard line. First and 10. Two first downs here from the Lions in this series. Jared Schmidt replaces Kyle Lomberger. Slot right, Nick Brown to the left. Slot reverse to uh, Jared Schmidt. He comes up the center of the line. Kind of a counter, not a reverse. He gets to the 40 yard line. Four yard gain for Jared. Well, I'm, the Lions are running on Beloit, having their way with them. I'm kind of surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Moody the runner. Got up over the 40. Forty-one yard line, one yard gain. Third and five coming up. Option for Brown. He pitches it to Moody to Lomberger. He does not get the corner. Taken out at the 40, corralled will close line basically. Got back just shy of the line of scrimmage. Half a yard loss. So it'll be fourth and six from the 40. The Lions got two first downs out of that series. See if we can get a punt off without uh, a block this time. 3.58 to go in the first quarter. Crawford goes right and punts. He gets it away. It would have been blocked again if he hadn't. It's taken that fumble by Fulhay at the 26. He's taken down by who? Jared Schmidt. At the 29 yard line of the Trojans. That would have been another block. First and 10 for the Trojans from their 29 yard line, 3.42 to go in the first quarter. Up the center to full hay. Just short of the, well, they might've got a first down. 
The flag at the line of scrimmage, or a little behind it. Holding on the Trojans, that's gonna go back 10 yards from the 34 yard line. I'm gonna move them back to the 24. So that'll give them first and 10 on their 24. Basically a five yard loss on the play, but they get first down again. And negate that fine nine yard run up the center. Back, gave it to uh, Fulhe again on the right side. Cody Moody got him, I believe. Jared Schmidt got him, okay. Second 14 coming, they're on the 29 yard line. Five yard gain for them. One receiver wide right. Simmons is under the center. Couple yard gain for 30. Gets it to the 34-yard line. Another five-yard run. Four-yard or so. Third and 11 coming. Should be a pass play. He's in the shotgun. Simmons back to pass. Throws deep to the left. It's caught by Fulhay. Might be short of the first down. Fourth and one coming from the 38 yard line. And the Trojans are gonna go for it. The official uh, stops the clock. Oh, we have equipment repair here for Crawford, tying a shoe. Gonna try to draw us off. Nope, Simmons quarterback sneak, and I think he had it. Up to the 40. First down. There is 125 to go in the first quarter. The score is 7 to 0, Beloit. Simmons took his 6-4 frame and laid it over the line for the first down. Hand off to 30 up the center. Big gainer. In the Lion territory. Weights, is it they call it? They are at the Lion 46-yard line. First and 10. Foley trying the right side. And he's got seven yards or so. Down to the Lion 39 yard line. Second three for the Trojans. Back, oh, they pass it to full, give it to full hay. He's tackled by Spencer Brown. Close to the first down. Third. 
Third and one coming from the 36 yard line. The quarter expires. Lloyd leading seven to zero over the Lions. Which is far better than how Beloit started against Russell two weeks ago. Did you hear about that? The score, there was four touchdowns scored in the first minute and one second of the game. They showed it on PBS, Smoky Valley Cable last weekend. Uh, Beloit received the opening kickoff. And from the first play of scrimmage, they tossed the ball to Fulhay, who rolled right and did a halfback option pass to Blaine Crawford, 68 yard touchdown. They kicked off and buried Russell deep inside the five yard line. They fumbled and somehow the ball ended up in the end zone. Beloit fell on it for a touchdown. Beloit kicks off to Russell. They run it back for a touchdown. And uh, Beloit kicks off to, or Russell kicks off to Beloit. First play from scrimmage after that kickoff. Beloit runs that same play. Pitch to full hay, halfback option pass, 65 yard touchdown. To, Lane Cropper, <laughs> minute and one second gone, four TDs. Three of them belong to the Trojans. Third and one from the Lion 36. And 30 gets it over the right side. He's got the first down to the 32 yard line. This drive started on the 29-yard line for the Trojans. Reverse here to number 40, trying the left side. Taken down from behind by Cameron Knox and Lambert at the 20-yard line. 12-yard gain, first down. And up full hay, tries the center. Runs into uh, a few lines and blockers, but he gets into the 14-yard line of the Lions. Seven-yard gain. Daniel Little on the slot. They have it right at the 15. Second and four coming. Ten fifty-two to go in the half. Thirty goes over left tackle. He gets to the ten, just short of the ten-yard line. Third and one coming up. Very short one. And a full A over the right guard. He cuts back a little to the left. He gets down to the five yard line, maybe the six. Kitten Lomberger at the tackle, the announcer says. Six yard line of the Lions, first and goal for the Trojans. Pitch to Foley, he's trying the right, the left side, and Jared Schmidt takes him down for a loss. Back to the 10 yard line, a four yard loss. They say it's on the 11, would have been a five yard loss. Simmons under the center. 
Hand off to Full Hill over the left side. Devin Knox takes him down at the six. About a five yard gain. Back to the original line of scrimmage on this series of downs. Third and goal from the six. Nine minutes to go on the second half. First, second quarter, excuse me. Rolling right, looking to pass. And it's knocked away by Jared Schmidt. Incomplete. Fourth and goal from the six. And Mr. Fulhay is going to try an extra point unless it's going to be a fake. Or it's field goal, excuse me. It's down, set, up, and cleanly good. Went 30, 20, 30 yards beyond the deal. Twenty-three yard makes it BHS ten. The Lions zero, and the Lions give them credit. Held Bloyd out of a touchdown there. The drive that started on their twenty-nine and ended on their six, resulting in that three-point field goal. Like I said the Lions have been a maturing team over the last several games. Only had one win come out of that, but. They're playing these games much better and close. And this game is far from over. Townsend, Schmidt, and Kent Lomberg are back deep for the Lions. Again, this is the second game in the districts. Next to the last league game. Full head kick. Going deep to the right. Townsend takes it at the, about the 10. And he's tackled. At the 25 yard line. It would have been a 15 yard line if I read where he received it correctly. And the Lions, first and 10 from their 25. 840 to go in the half. Option right to Kyle Lomberger. He cuts up. Gets two yards. Made a nice shifty move to get inside the guy that was the, the cutoff man. And off to Moody. No. Brown must have kept it. And he got nowhere. Loss of a yard. Third and nine from the 26 yard line. 7.30 to go in the second quarter. Pass by Brown. Ken Lumber is open. Oh, broke it up by number seven. Reams, who has five interceptions on the year. That was so close. 
Excellent defensive play, and Kenton still almost came away with it. So fourth and ten for the Lions from their 26-yard line. Crawford back to punt. See if we can do any better job of protecting here than we did the first two times. A lot better job that time. A deep, booming punt. Taken at the 31-yard line by 40. And we're going to have a blocking foul. Forty-four yard punt by Jeff Crawford. Should return to about the forty-seven yard line of the Trojans. Flag is at the forty-six. And they're going to place the ball on the 35. First and 10. Simmons under center. Hand off to 40. It's on the 30. Who gets to the 40-yard line, five-yard gain. Second and five. 6.35 to go in the second quarter. And off to 30 over the right side. He's got the first down and more. Up close to midfield. Full Hay was the ball carrier. He's up to the 48 yard line. Trent Lambert with the tackle. First and 10 from the Trojan, 48. 6.15 to go in the second quarter. Full Hay over the left side. Devin Knox on the tackle. And Cody Moody. Up to the line, 48. Four yard gain. Thirty trying to run to the left, taken down by Nick Brown. And fifty, Trenton Lambert got the measure for the first down here. Looks like a first down for the Trojans. From the Lion, 42. Tritton Lambert comes out with, or uh, Knox comes out with a blood problem of some type. Jared Schmidt tackles full hay for a one yard gain only. Second nine from the 41. 
Missing our middle linebacker out of there right now. The reverse 40 is going to throw it. Intercepted by Kyle Lonberger. Oh, and he runs into the blocker. The brothers run into each other. But the Trojans don't score. Did they call an incomplete pass? Incomplete pass. Looked like an interception to me. Third and nine. Simmons rolling right, pitches late to Fulhay, and he's tackled big loss there by Jared Schmidt, I believe. No, it's Kyle Lonberger. Nice defensive read, a yard, half a yard gain. It's fourth and nine from the 38-yard line. And Fulhay is going to punt, see if he can pin the Lions deep. The Lions doing a great job here on defense. Need to watch for a fake here. They're punting. Nice high punt. I thought it almost hit Spencer Brown and or Nick Brown in the back. It's down on the 14 yard line. First and 10 Lions on the 14 with 3.52 to go in the first, second quarter. And Chuck, I don't know if I, you would ask me before the game if we'd only be down 10 to nothing at this point if I'd have said that. The Lions are playing well here. And the Lions take a timeout, 3.52 to go in the second quarter, trailing the Trojans 10 to nothing on their home field. And folks, they have been rolling and steamrolling over people all year long. Not tonight with the Lions. Okay, folks, here we come back. Second quarter action, 3.52 to go. The Lions first and 10 on their 14-yard line after a great defensive, two good defensive series against the Trojans. The Trojans got three points out of two series. Knox with the carry. He's up to the 15. Make it the 16, two yard game for Cameron. He's the fullback again. Cameron the ball carrier over left tackle. He's got some good run going there. He's up close to the first down. Marking it on the 20. Three yard line. Third and two coming up. Knocks again up the center. He's got the first down and more. A nice spin move there by Cameron after the initial hit. He gets close to the 30 yard line. Mark at the 29. First and 10. First down for a for 29 yard line. 2.45 to go in the second quarter. Moody is the slot. And off the Knox. He gets to the 30 yard line. Back to pass to Spencer Brown. He's under rush. He gets away. He's running left. Passes it. 
way over Kenton Lomberger's head. I hope he wouldn't be on the line of scrimmage when he threw. There is a flag down. I think he probably was. He should have kept running. He had one tackler to beat. I think that's a loss of downs. Loss of down on the penalty. Spencer, a sophomore quarterback for the Lions all year. Five-yard penalty. Illegal forward pass. It's loss of down. Third and 13. From the 26. And Brown's taken for a loss. There's lots of whistles. Timeout by the Lions, 158 to go. So fourth down from our 20 yard line. Jeff Crawford will go back to punt again. We need to protect like we did the on our third punt. Jeff got a nice 44-yard punt out. Number 40, Eric Short and Fulhay back to receive the kick for the Trojans. Oh, boy, it's almost blocked again. Crawford runs, gets up to the 25-yard line. That somebody's breaking through the middle of the line there and causing big problems. And Beloit sets up Fat and Sass at 152 to go on the line, 25-yard line. Back in the shotgun. He passes right to Fulhay. He's cutting back left. Taken down by Lambert at the line of scrimmage, basically. 25 yard line, no gain. Defended well by the Lions. 130 to go in the second quarter. Two receivers left, two right. Shotgun formation. Back to pass is Simmons. He's under a little rush here. Incomplete to 86. Brady Luke, a 6-1 junior. Third and 10 for the Trojans. From the line, 25 yard line, clock stopped with 116 on that incomplete pass. Two receivers left, two right. Shotgun formation for Simmons. Back to pass, looking left. Under a rush from Crawford. Going deep here, gonna be picked off. Knocked away by Spencer Brown. Or that would have been a touchdown. There is a flag in the end zone. One oh eight to go. Trojans are retreating. Oh, no reason to pass interference against the Lions. Going to give them a first down. Lions, 
Moves the ball. To the 13-yard line. First and go, first and 10 for the Trojans. Pitch is right to Fulhay. He cuts out. And uh, short of the touchdown. Out at the four. Lamberger, Kenton Lomberger with the tackle. Official timeout for uh, equipment adjustment. 101 to go in the second quarter. Second one. Hand off to 30. Up. No, it was full hay. 30 was a blocker. He probably got the first down. They're going to measure. Spencer Brown at the tackle. 52 seconds to go in the second quarter. Oh, they didn't give him a first down. Excuse me. From the two-yard line. And no signal. Down to the one. Second goal from the one. Moody with a good tackle. And Simmons goes over right guard for the touchdown. Makes the score 16 to zero, Beloit. Full Hay will line up for the extra point. Blocked by Jared Schmidt. That's his second block of the year, I believe. Beloit 16, Minneapolis 0. 19 seconds to go in the half. Great effort there by Jared Schmidt. So Beloit will kick off here. 40. We're on the 40 with 19 seconds to go. Jared Schmidt, Kent Lomberger, and Jamal Townsend back to receive. The line drive picked up by Lomberger at the 16. He gets to the 30. Thirteen seconds to go on our 30 yard line. Don't need a foolish mistake here and give Beloit some opportunities for easy points in the, in the half. Schmidt is the setback. Brown passes downfield to Kyle Onberger. Almost picked off by Fulhay. Uh, what, what are we doing with two receivers in the same area? <laughs> That's too easy to defend. Second and 10 from the 30, eight seconds to go. Round to pass again. To Knox, picked off. 
by Ream, his sixth of the year. Need to get him, they do. Time expires, Beloit leading 16 to zero. And Mr. Ream adds to his stats. I think this line of journal had him down for how many interceptions on the year? If I'm mistake, not mistaken, it was five. Yes. That gives him six on the season, which is pretty respectable for a high school D-back. Well, we don't have any stats for you tonight, folks. Uh, due to lack of personnel, it uh, doesn't look good. 56 is walking off field under assistance with maybe a sprained ankle. Who's that? Daniel Little, starting defensive lineman, a senior. Hope we can get that corrected. But he might be done for the night. We'll be back with second half action shortly. The Lions trail 16 to zero after one half of play. All right, Lions fans, welcome back for second half action here in Beloit, Kansas at Trojan Stadium. Lion captains go to the center of the field. Lions received in the first half, so I assume they will kick here in the second half to the Trojans. Yes, the Trojans will receive and defend the east goal on your right. The Lions have played a very determined first half of ball here, save for uh, two bad punts. It might only be three to nothing, Chet. Truck. Uh, hey, they blocked a punt down here, had a short drive, blocked a didn't block any of them, but almost came. I mean, he had to run for five yards. They got it on the 25-yard line, got another touchdown. Their only touchdowns come off of uh, poor punting situations from the Lions. Their uh, other points were a field goal on a uh, long drive from their 29-yard line down to their six, where the Lions stopped them. Save for that, this might be a three-to-nothing ball game. But it is 16 to nothing. 12 minutes to go. The Lions kick off here tonight for the first time. Colton Carpenter will kick. Good kick. Going to be taken at the 20 by Full Hay. He's going on the right side with lots of speed. Taken out by Kent, Kent Lomberger. in the line territory at the 40 five yard line. So a 35 yard return for full hay there. First 10, our 45 yard line. Reverse here to 40. Nick Brown does a great job, keeps him in and uh, Knox takes him on out of bounds. Nick Brown did a great job of uh, keeping that play inside. Eric Short, the runner, 6'1", junior. I expect to see some of Levi Anderson tonight, but I haven't seen Boo out of him. He's hurt. Well, that would be a reason. Fulhay up the center. Tackled by Crawford, I believe. Crawford and Moody. Third and one. 30, the ball carry. He's got the first down. Down to the 27. Twenty-eight yard line. First and ten. Eleven oh five to go in the third quarter. 
Well, we have an official timeout. And off the counter to uh, Fulhay, and Tyler Moody says no. And Kaiser. And Contreras. Gain to yard. No, no gain at all. Second 10. Back to pass. As Simmons under rush. There's a screen to 40. Taken down from behind by Cameron Knox. First down to the Lion 22 yard line. Full hay over right guard. Tough yardage. Tackled by Moody. He's to the 20 yard line. Second and eight. Fifty-three. Counter play to thirty cuts back to the right, and uh, two or three lines take him, but he's close to the first down. Lambert on the tackle. It's a first down on the ten-yard line. First and goal. Trojans opened up on the line, 45-yard line, after a nice kickoff return by Fulhay, and they're down on the line 10 now. 9-13 to go on the third quarter. Fulhay off right tackle, cuts back left. He's in for the TD. Ten-yard run by Fulhay for a ten-yard for a touchdown here for the Lloyd Trojans, 9.07 to go in the third quarter. Makes it 22-0. PAT attempt by DJ Fulhay. No block this time. Makes the score below it, 23. Minneapolis zero. With 9.07 to go in the third quarter. I think the uh, Trojans lined up somebody to make sure, real special to make sure Jared Schmidt didn't get through again that time. <laughs> So Jamal Townsend, Kenton Lomberger, and Jared Schmidt go back to receive the kick again. Nice deep kicks going to Jamal Townsend at the 11 yard line. He's cutting at the left side. And there's a flag up over the 30 at the 33. Holding would be the call. It's not what you need. Let's go. 
holding was down the field from where the run went out of bounds. The run went out of bounds at the about the 28 yard line. Holding is about the 33. Ten yarder puts the Lions back. The 18 yard line. First and ten. Shotgun formation for Brown. And we must add movement on the line. Yes. First and 15 from our 13. Shotgun formation again for Spencer. Quick out to Cameron Knox. Cuts back. He gets up to the 24-yard line. Nice gain. Eleven yard gain there. Second five. Pass a little bit short to Nick Brown. Third and five coming. Brown passes again, caught by Nick Brown. He's got some running room, got a block. He's got around the, to the 40, up to the 45 yard line. Great pass completion to Nick Brown and about a 10 yard run across the field. A uh, 21 yard gain. Actually, they got it on the 46, 22-yard gain. Quick pass. To, oh, oh, it's inter almost intercepted. It's quick out to Knox is over his head, and the Bullock player had it and lost it. He was running for the goal line. Brady Luke, a junior. Brown passes a little behind Kyle Lomberger. That was third down. So third and ten for the Lions. From the 46. Shotgun formation for Spencer. Passes to Kenton Lomberger in front of him. Would have been a good gainer if he could have connected. Fourth and ten. And the Lions aren't going to punt. Lions take a timeout now. Talk it over. 8.04 to go in third quarter. Lions trailing 23 to 0, and the Lions fourth and 10 on our own 46 yard line. Back with second half action shortly. Okay, fourth and 10, folks, from the Lion 46 yard line. Shotgun formation. Brown under a rush. He gets it away to Kenton Lomber. It's complete. And he's. Oh, so short of the first down, I believe. Oh, it's right there. First down. 
at the Beloit 44 yard line. Well, Chuck, I take it back. <laughs> the riverboat gambler, Terry Mickle, won there. Brown, shotgun formation, pitches out to Kyle Lomberger, complete to the 40. Second, six from the Beloit 40, and the Lions are all of a sudden moving the ball. They started out way back at the, uh, about the 15-yard line after a penalty. Brown rolls left. Nice block for him. He's past the 35. Up to the 31-yard line. Almost first down. The Lions are on the move. First ten goats, first and ten from the 31 yard line of the Trojans. Have an official timeout for equipment problem, I guess. Official timeout. Jamal Townsend replaces Nick Brown. There's a piece of uh, equipment missing here, but the time is running. They need to get moving. Shotgun formation for Spencer. He's going back fast under a rush. And, oh, intercepted. Tipped by two Trojans, and Ream gets his seventh interception of the season at the 17-yard line. They're going to make it at the 16. So two interceptions tonight for Reams. And Pulhay tries the left side. No. Who was it? 33 was the ball carrier. Hyman, 5'6", junior. One yard gain. And no go. Crawford and Moody in on the tackle. Loss of a yard. It's third and 11. From the 15. Two yard loss there. Back to pass is Simmons. Looking deep downfield. Yeah, out of the hands of number 40. Boy, he split the receiver, the defensive backs there. That pass just would have been a couple inches closer to him. He would have had six points. Eric Short, a 6'1 junior for the Trojans. Makes it fourth and 11. See if we can get a run back here. Schmidt and Kyle Lomberger back to receive the punt. Full hay to kick. Short bounces at the 40. Goes out at the touched at the Lion 48 yard line. Not a real great punt there by the great punter of Bloit. First and 10 at our 48. I guess everybody has to shank one every now and then. Yeah. 
Brown in the shotgun again. Looking over the center, a little in front of Kyle Lomberger. They're giving us that uh, inside inside pass, five yards over the line of scrimmage. Linebackers are backing up. Second and 10 from our 48. Kyle Lomberger comes out. Jess Crawford sets up in a slot. Cameron Ox and uh, Kenton Lomberger out wide right. Brown in the shotgun. Too much time, I'm guessing. And that's the call. Going to make third or second and 15 from the line 43. Oh, motion. Same setup here. Fake the Knox. Now it's going deep the Knox. Picked off by Fulhay. Kent Lomberger on the chase. He goes out at the 25 yard line. Twenty-five yard line of the Lions. The Trojans take over first and ten. After a nice run back by DJ Fulhay. After a leaping interception. Third interception for the Trojans tonight. Simmons throws a wobbler, picked off by Spencer Brown. Intercepted by Spencer Brown. He gets one back. Was that Spencer? Yes. Spen old Simmons really threw up a wounded duck there. All trouble is we're back on the eight yard line. But that's better than seven points right now. Knox is the setback. And off the Knox, tries the right side. Gets maybe to the nine. Second nine from the nine. Brown's under center. 4.25 to go in the third quarter. Hand off to Moody. He's got a nice gain there. Over left tackle. Gets to the 14 yard line. Third and five, or short long four from the line 14. Spencer Brown, option left. And he carries the ball, gets to the 16. Fourth and two from the Lions from their 16 yard line. And will we punt? The Four players come on the field, check crop. 
Not Chet Crawford. Jeff Crawford remains on the field to punt. <laughs> and let's hold him out this time. Gets it away. A nice booming punt by Jeff. It goes to the 47-yard line. Short takes it, tries the left side. And the Trojans avoided a uh, block in the back, just barely. Down to the 33, 32-yard line of the Lions. So the Trojans are still playing, and they are into the field here. 2.46 to go in the third quarter. They have scored one touchdown in this quarter. Who's 71? Oh, that's Devin Knox. He just changed jerseys. Two receivers out to the right. Oh, encroachment here by the Lions. Second five from the 28, or first and five from the 28. Five gets the carry. Devin Knox and Jared Schmidt take him down. Who's five for the Trojans? Brett Estrell, a junior. That is a first down. First and ten from the Lion 21-yard line. Thirty, and uh, Kaiser and Knox with a big hit, take him down at the line. Two yard gain from the nineteen. Second and eight. One receiver wide right. And that number five gets it again. He's got a couple yards. Down to the 16. Okay. 17, actually. Third and a long four for the Trojans. Reverse, and it's a fumble in the backfield. And the Lions, Cody Moody drops him. Actually, he's on the knee, so it would have been down there. Ben Gesser, the coach's son. It's fourth and ten to go. From the 22. Will they try a field goal? I would think he could kick it from here. Yep, we're going to 47 yard attempt. Is that it, Chuck? 47 yard? By DJ Fulhay. It's spotted at the 29 yard line. Almost blocked. It's wide left, I think. Yep, just left. 
39 yard attempt. The Lions hold here. Good defensive series by the Lions. After that INT run back there by Full Hay. We start out first and 10 on our 22. 22 seconds to go in the third quarter. It's 23-0, Beloit. Who'd have thunk it? They'd be this close a game. The Lions did. Brown. Incomplete pass to Kyle Lomberger. Full Hay thought he had another INT. Shotgun formation for Spencer Brown. Shovel pass to Kyle Lombard. No, to Jared Schmidt. He gets up close to a first down. Well, not, not as close as I thought. It's third and four. Six yard gain. First time I've seen the Lions have seen the Lions run a shovel pass this year. Nice completion. We're up to the 28-yard line, and we're going to change sides of the field here. It's 23 nothing Beloit after three quarters of play. The Lions are driving. Mind you, the Beloit shut out uh, Belleville last week at Belleville, 55 to nothing. They've been racking up some points this year. They beat Russell 44 to 14 at Russell before that. They lost big to Smith Center 42 to six. They beat Ellsworth 48 to nothing. The Lions are playing respectable ball to the Trojans here tonight. We've had three turnovers, two punts that we gave up to them, and we're down 23 to nothing. Brown in the shotgun. Earl's right, he's got room. And the first down, I believe. Yes, he does. He's at the 31 yard line. First and 10, the Lions move the chains. Shotgun formation for Spencer Brown again. Deep down the field to, oh! Incomplete pass, Kyle Lomberger. Kyle had to slip and fall down and reach back to try to get the ball. Second 10 from our 31. Spencer, quick pass, complete to Kyle Lomberger. He dodges a couple, spins, gets about a seven yard gain. Six yard gain, it's third and four from the 36 yard line. Brown looks left, 
complete. Oh, in and out of the hands of Kenton Lomberger. It's going to make a fourth and four from the 36-yard line. 11-10 to go, and the Lions are going to go for it. Brown looks forward. Kyle Lautenberger. Oh, he breaks it up from Fulhay. Pass incomplete. Fulhay was reaching over the back for it. And the Trojans take over first and 10 on the Lion 36 yard line. The Lions take a timeout. So the Lions or the Trojans have easy uh, potential, easy pickings here. If the Lions can hold them, unless the Lions can hold them from the 36-yard line, leading the Lions 23-0. They've been playing in the Minneapolis end of the field the whole half. But yet, have only scored one touchdown to this point. 11.04 to go in the fourth quarter. So see what the line defense can do here. They've played a tr some tremendous series in this second half. Simmons under center, hands off to 40, and he gets maybe a yard. Several lines are there to greet him. A 35 yard line, one yard gain. Clock is running with 10.40 to go in the game. Simmons under center. Back, an option left. Fulhay's got it. Kent Lomberger chases him out at the 25, which will be a first down. Yeah, they mark it at the 25. Eleven yard gain for uh, Fulhay. Another oh, marker on that's 26. So nine yard gain, but enough for the first down. Ten twenty to go in the game. Reverse to 40. Knox is out there, cuts him in, holding up the blockers, and they get no nowhere. No, not, don't get back in the line of scrimmage. Cameron Knox did a great job of holding up the interference. And they have a three-yard loss back to the 27-yard line. 22-yard loss back to the 28-yard line. Second 12, 9.40 to go in the game. Hand off to Fulhay. Hit initially by Jeff Crawford, taken down by Moody. He gets back to the original line of knock, no, the one yard gain. Third and 11. Down to the 27 yard line. The line, defensive line is doing a great job tonight. They had, they had some good runs there at the beginning of the game against them, but They've stiffened up here, especially in this second half, and been stopping them short quite a bit at the time. Simmons back to pass. Screen. 
dropped by Short, number 40. Brings up fourth and 11 from their 27 yard line. Try another field goal attempt here. Advertise his skills. They're going to go for it. No field goal attempt. Fourth and 11. Back to pass is Simmons. Deep down the field, caught by number 30 at the 11 yard line. First and 10 from the Lion 11. Eight forty one to go in the game. Nice pass completion for the Trojans. Simmons got tied up with a blocker. Hands off to Fulhay. Three to four Lions take him down. Well, 30 was carrier. Moody was the prime tackler there. He gets to the nine, two yard gain. Second eight from the nine yard line. And a full way over the left side. He gets a couple yards. Taken down by Cameron Knox and Lambert. He's at the five. Third and four from the, just inside the five yard line. Third, he gets to carry over the left side. Big hit. Who was that? Devin Knox. No gain. Fourth and four. Official timeout here for equipment repair. You got about a half yard gain out of that somehow. Tell you what, the Trojans are paying for every yard they're getting tonight. Simmons back to, rolls right to pass. Caught by number 40 for a TD. He's wide open. Short was receiver. It's now 30 to 0 at 6.49 to go. Full eight comes in for the PAT. And it's good. Makes the score 30 to zero with 6.49 to go in the contest. The Trojans have a good combination of running and passing. The big tall quarterback, senior. That has a pretty good arm. It's hard to stop everything they can do. Boyd kicks off for the sixth time tonight, I believe it is. J. 
Jared Schmidt, Townsend, and Kenton Lomberg are back to receive. See if the Lions can get a score here, a vert a shutout. Bolle kicks off. Kenton Lomberger takes it at the 20, drops it, picks it up again. Gets to the 31 yard line, 32 yard line. About a seven, eight yard return for Kenton. First and 10 lines for our 32. Shotgun formation for Spencer Brown, Knox, and Kenton Lomberger out right. Kyle Lomberger slot left. Shovel pass knocked away by a defense lineman, I believe. Second 10 from the 32. Nick Brown wide left. Lomberger and Knox to the right. Kyle Lomberger slot left. Quick pass to Kyle Lomberger. He slips. A little dew out on the grass tonight, I guess. Pass complete to the 34 yard line. Second and eight, third and eight. Brown completes Kyle Lomberger. He's got some room. He's got the corner. He's got the first down and much, much more. Deep into uh, Trojan territory at the 37-yard line. At the 41 is where they put it, of the Trojans. Shotgun formation for Spencer again. Under a rush, complete, oh. Dropped by Lomberger. The Kyle version, second 10. Jamal Townsend replaces Kenton Lomberger, wide left. Spencer Brown back in the shotgun. Jamal Townsend complete. He gets a first down over the 30, down to the 26, 27 yard line. And the Lions are moving the ball. Be nice to get a score here. 5.50 to go in the game. Brown passes complete to Kyle Lomberger again. He's got a block. He's going to score. Great completion from Kyle Lomberger. He got a couple nice blocks, turned on the Jets, got down the sideline. Score the first TD for the Lions tonight. A 41, no, 27 yard touchdown. The Lions go line up for two. Pass to Nick Brown, caught. It's Beloit 30, Minneapolis 8, with 5.35 to go. Great. Great way to go here for the Lions. I did not want to see a shutout tonight. Their defense have played so well, even though there's 30 points against them, but they, they could have been a lot of worse the way this Bloyd team's been playing this year. 
The defense has actually played fairly good. And I'm sure we'll see an onside kick here. Colton Carpenter will kick off from the right hash. Kicking to the left. See if he can get that bounce that's needed to get it up high in the air. The Lions! Oh, Beloit has it. Boy, it was there. That was a big hit. Beloit recovers on their 48-yard line. Now the defense, 5.32 to go, needs to do something he big here to step up, see if we can get the ball back. That drive started on our 32-yard line. 30, got hit by Schmidt and finished off by Devin Knox, yes. No gain, second 10. Again, that was a, that drive started on our 32. Took one, two, three, four, five, six plays in for the TD. Nice drive by the Lions. New quarterback for the Trojans, number two. He's option left. And he gets close to the first down. And he might have the first down. Yes, he does. That's an 11 yard gain. Number two for the Trojans, Todd Dunstan, a 5'9 sophomore. First and 10 from the line of 41. 4.30 to go in the game. Dunstan, the quarterback, again under center. Hand off. Thumb ball. Nick Brown has Spencer Brown has it. Nice run and play there, good game, but he fumbled at the end before he went down. Spencer Brown gets the fumble recovery at the Lion 27 yard line. First and 10. Shotgun formation for Brown. Looking left to Knox, he's got it. Complete to the 38-yard line of the Trojans. Twenty-three. Over 40-yard gain there. Brown, option right. He's cutting back left. Five, six yard gain. Long, long five yard gain. 
They're at the 33. Brown back to pass. Caught by low. Pass incomplete. Long Kyle Lomberger was the intended target. Third and five from the Trojan 33 yard line. Shotgun formation for Spencer again. Kind of a wobbly snap. He rolls left, completes the Knox. He's got room to run. He's down to the 10, inside the 10 yard line. Three oh four to go. The ball is at the right at the ten yard line. First and goal from the ten. Hand off to Jared Schmidt. Touchdown for the Lions. It's 30 to 14, Beloit. That drive started at the Lion 27 yard line. That's two drives, two long drives from the 32 and the 27 for TDs here in the fourth quarter. Swing gate, Brown rolls right. He's gonna run it in for two. BHS 30, MHS 16. A 14 point advantage for the Trojans here in the fourth quarter. Who'd have thunk it, Chuck? 2.54 to go in the game. And you can be assured the Lions will try another short kick here onside. He tries, sets up on the left hash this time. We came dangerously close to getting that last one. Well, you bet they put Simmons back out on the field this time as a QB if they get it. So it goes to 10 yards, Beloit has it. And is taken down by Moody at the 46 yard line. First and 10, Beloit, and they're 46. 2.50 to go in the contest. And Simmons does come back out to take over quarterback duties for the Trojans. He's under center. And off full hay, he tries the right side. Gets five, six yards. Up to the Lion 49 yard line. Five yard gain. Second and five coming. 2.28 to go in the contest. These fighting Lions have played a tremendous game tonight. I did not anticipate this close of a game. I, I hoped, but I didn't anticipate it. They have really matured as the season's grown, gone along. Short with the carry over the left side. Tackle by Moody. Possibly. Dan Little, or, or no, it's Kaiser. It's at the 46 yard line of the Lions. Third and two from the Lion 46. 133 to go in the contest.
And off the short, he tries the center. He's got the first down. He's up to the line, 42-yard line. Knocks Smith with the tackle. First down, the line, 30, 42-yard line, 1.15 to go in the game. 30 to 16 is the score. The Trojans with four TDs, I believe, and a field goal. And the Lions with two TDs. Hand off to Fulhay up the center. He's to the 38-yard line. Second down. 35 seconds to go. The Trojans could down it here if they want and finish out the game. They know they've played a good team tonight in the Lions. That don't. This their play did not represent a one and six record tonight. 20 seconds to go. Hand off to 30, tackled by Knox and Schmidt and several others. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 to 16 is the final score. Beloit over Minneapolis here at Trojan Stadium. And you have watched a fantastic game here by the Lions. They've lost another game and gone to one and seven, folks. But what an effort by this team full of young players that uh, have played a very, very respectable game here tonight, scoring two TDs in the fourth quarter. I'm sure if people had done some odds on this game, they would not have been picked to be anywhere this close to the Trojans playing on their home field here. Fantastic effort by the Lions. There's no such thing as a moral victory, really, but if there was, this would be pretty close to it. Thanks for watching here on Channel 37, MCTV, Galaxy Cablevision. Come out next Thursday night and cheer on these Lions, try to get them a final victory on the season against the visiting Beloit, or the Belleville Buffaloes. And uh, who knows, if things went right, they still might get into the playoffs and get counted out. If, Bel if Belleville beat Riley County tonight, we beat Belleville, and Riley County beats Beloit, who knows, Chuck? Come out and support your Lions in this ninth game of the season next year, next week, next Thursday night. Dale H. Chuck Lomberger signing off.